Hey, and welcome back. Let's work on signing out the user and also start on our Google sign-in feature. All right, in VS Code, let's navigate to our user controller. I will collapse this and also this. And then I will say sign out, async, request response, try catch. I'll put the error. And now to our try block. So signing out is pretty straightforward. What we want to do is clear the cookie that we set when the user first signed in, which contained the refresh token. All right, so clear cookie. And then if everything passed, that means it is a success. All right, to clearing the cookie, we want to say response, clear cookie, and the cookie name was underscore app RF token. And then the path that we set was in forward slash API, forward slash auth, and forward slash access. And then if everything is good, we just want to return a response of a status of 500 with the JSON message saying sign out success. All right, give this a quick save. And now to our user routes. Let's say route.get and then it will be four slash API four slash auth four slash sign out then our user controller and then sign out give this a quick save now let's jump into postman now let's add a new request it will be user sign out and get is the request and our endpoint is this. And all we have to do now is just press send. And here's our success message. All right, let's go back to VS Code and work on our Google sign in. Back to our user controllers. Let's collapse this. All right, let's say Google async request response. Now to our try block. So the first thing we want to do is get the Google token ID. So when a user sign in with Google, they will receive a Google token ID. After that, we want to verify that ID. Next, we want to get the data from that token ID, like the user name, email, or avatar. After this, there will be two outcomes. The first, is a failed verification and the second is a passed verification and our app will know if it's a fail or a pass by the data that we receive back from google so if it's a failed verification all we have to do is just return the error back to the user but if it's a pass verification there will be another two outcomes the first will be if the user exists we sign them in and if the user does not exist we create a new user and then finally if all the cases pass then that means everything was a success all right before we get started let's require it in our google apis in our user controller file so const google equal require google apis and then we want to use the OAuth verification. So OAuth2 equal Google.auth. All right, let's scroll down to get the token ID. So let's say const token ID equal request.body. Next, we want to verify this token ID. So let's say const client equal new OAuth 
two and then we need to pass in our secret key which was g underscore client underscore id next we want to verify this so const verify await client verify id token and then we will need to pass in the token id that we want to verify so let's say id token is the token id and then our secret key again All right, next we want to get the data from this token ID. So cons email verified. So this is a param that Google give us and it will either return true or false if the token ID was verified successfully. Next, we will get the email, the name, and then the user avatar, but it will be called picture for Google equal verify payload so next we have our two cases which is either fail or pass so if it's a failed we want to return the error so if there is no email verified that means there is an error so we want to return a response with a status of 400 and a json message saying email verification failed so our next case is if it's a pass verification there will be two more outcomes the first will be if the user exists we sign them in so this will be our first case what we want to do is go into our database and find a user based on the email that we got back so let's say cons user equal await user find one and then we will find one based on the Google email. And then if that user exists, we will just sign them in. So we're going to do an if statement. So if user exists, the first thing that we want to do is create a refresh token. So cons RF token equal create token refresh. Then let's pass in the user ID. Next, we want to store that refresh token in a cookie. So let's say response cookie and the name of the cookie will be underscore app RF token. And then we want to pass in the refresh token and then also some options. The first will be HTTP only, set that to true. Next will be our path. So forward slash API, forward slash auth, forward slash access. And then once again, it will be expire in 24 hours. And now if this pass, then we want to respond with a status of 200 and a JSON message saying sign in with Google success. All right, next will be our else case, which is a new user. So else, I will move this line up into the else block. First thing we want to do is create a default password for the user. So cons password and we will use their email plus our secret key. So process.env g underscore client ID. After this, we want to hash the password. So consult equal await bcrypt gen salt and then cons hash password equal await decrypt and then hash we want to hash the password using our salt after this we will create a new user so cons new user 
new user model we will take in the google name of the user and then the email and then password will be the hash password and then the avatar will be picture now we want to save this user into our database so await new user dot save after this we want to sign in the user so first and foremost we need to create a refresh token so rf underscore token we can actually copy the line above which is here the store cookie and refresh token lines and then paste it down here all right and then if this case passed then everything was a success so let's move this line up into the elf statement and then we want to respond with a status of 200 with a JSON message saying sign in with Google success. Let's give this a quick save and now navigate to our user routes. Let's define our Google route. So route.post forward slash API forward slash auth and then forward slash Google underscore sign in and then our user controller and then google now let's give this a quick save all right let's jump back into our user controller because i think i made a mistake and it's up here i spell google wrong all right give this a quick save and this will also wrap up our lesson and we will test this out once we integrate our front end and back end together so until then I'll see you in the next lesson.